Question from Julie. Thanks, Rob. Gentlemen, the South is currently picking up the pieces from two major hurricanes. Nebraskans are still recovering from a summer of devastating weather. And at the same time, homeowners face rising insurance rates and costs of rebuilding. Do you believe that climate change is to blame? And what role do you think that the government should play in protecting Americans physically and financially? Congressman, a minute and a half. Well, I do think climate change plays a role. Is it the defining role? We could debate about that. Right now we have more people living on the coastline, so we're more vulnerable to these hurricanes. And we've had terrible hurricanes 100 years ago, but I have no doubt, based on an increase in carbon, that there is a human factor here. So that's why I support multiple measures to put less pollution in the air. I support nuclear energy. I, it was my work to get the solar income or the solar uh, tax deduction as well as the wind tax deductions put back in uh, the tax reform law. So I want to encourage that. And here in Omaha, we have 40% of our energy comes from wind, and I'm proud of that. And so I, I also was the founder or the lead Republican on the Global uh, Climate Change Act, which would help uh, farmers or incentivize farmers to do more uh, work to do sustainable farming. So I'm on a lot of different issues to help uh, clean up the environment. Now, when it comes to rebuilding, I saw what happened at Offutt, and I saw what happened at Camp Ashland. I was able to get $1.4 billion for Offutt, and I got $48 million for Camp Ashland. We rebuilt those areas, and we built them up 10 to 15 feet higher to make them floodproof. We need to do the same kinds of things in Florida and other areas, and keep learning from these disasters and harden of the rebuilding so that we don't pay as much every time we have an emergency. Congressman, thank you, Senator. A minute and a half. Thank you. Climate change is real, and we have a responsibility to not only slow it, but we are immediately contributing to it. And I know I did hear this from Congressman Bacon that there is a human factor. Uh, humans are playing a large role in this. It's the reason why we, not only as a former public school science teacher, I talk this to my students. I taught this to my students because it was important for them to understand that the future of their generation, the future of their land and water and all these amazing natural resources is dependent on whether or not we protect them. It's also the reason why we need to invest in the kind of jobs and economic opportunities that will take care of our land and water. But it also means that those kind of jobs right now are under attack. We have to be more competitive right now across this globe. We need to invest in the next generation of clean energy jobs that will do everything possible to not only raise wages, benefits for Nebraskans and for Americans, but also make sure that those jobs are contributing to reducing this climate change, rather than just saying that it's somewhat of a factor. It is an absolute factor and we can do something about it. But I also think it's important that when we don't support these kind of American jobs, when Congressman Bacon voted against the CHIPS Act, these are tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of American-made jobs that will make us more competitive with against China, make us more competitive and self less reliant, and actually invest in the middle class. Senator, thank you. Congressman, 45 seconds. Well, here's again another a third bill that Tony said he supported that helped fuel inflation. That was a $270 billion uh -huh. bill for one industry. And Again, he's repeatedly said he's voted for, he supported the bills that gave us the worst inflation in 40 years. So the average taxpayer is 4.2% poor because of the policies that Tony is championing. Now, I've already said I was, the, I was the champion for wind energy. I got those tax deductions back, solar energy. I think we should be moving farther ahead on nuclear energy. But we should also be doing more with our natural gas. Our natural gas, gas is the cleanest in the world, and it's burned so much cheaper, or cleaner, I should say, than coal. And also, we should look at carbon capture. Uh, we have coal plants, so we're going to be here for a while. Let's put the carbon capture technologies on and capture the pollution before it goes in our atmosphere. Congressman, thank you. Senator, 45 seconds. The reason I talk about jobs is because this is one of the best ways to address our cost of living and lower the cost for you. This is the reason why I want to invest in clean energy jobs that will make it possible for you to be able to save more and will increase your wages. But I also think it matters that when I mention that Congressman Bacon is not supporting of the CHIPS Act, our next generation of STEM jobs that will create hundreds of thousands of good paying American jobs and make us more competitive across this globe, he's, has no response. 
and instead wants to continue to claim a lot of misinformation and lies about my record. What I've worked on in the legislature is actually lowering the cost of living, investing in climate change solutions, and doing everything we can for the middle class. Senator, thank you.